I love stinging nettles. I use it for food, I use it for medicine, and I use it for fibers. And I'm gonna share that process with you today. When I harvest for food and medicine, I don't use gloves. I feel that it's a bit disrespectful to the plant. However, when I harvest for fiber, I am going to use gloves because I'm gonna be rather aggressive with the plant. And so I have these gloves that have leather on them. And I'm going to choose some pretty hefty stems, ones that are thick enough that I'm gonna get a fair amount of fiber from. There's some good ones. Here's some really good ones over here. Some of these that I harvest, I'm going to leave on the ground out in the weather so they can go through a process called redding. So it can be done several ways. You can just leave it on the ground and that's called dew redding, or you can put it actually in a pond or in a creek. You can tie it together and weight it down and that's water redding. And Dew redding takes a little bit longer. Water redding can happen in a couple of days. Dew redding usually takes a week or so. Other plant fibers like flax, which creates linen and hemp, are often redded before they're processed. And one thing redding does is it helps to separate the fibers from the pith and from the, the bark of the stem. I'm gonna trim it off about here. And I'm gonna trim off all these. Next, I have this piece of leather. And even though I have leather gloves, I'm still gonna use this piece of leather. And I'm gonna rub the entire stem really well to get any of the stinging hairs off before I start handling it with my bare hands. I've gotten all the stingers off. I'm going to peel it. Now, some people like to peel with their fingers, but I prefer to peel with a knife and work my way completely down the stem. And you can even see where some of the fibers are starting to come out already. These will get hung up to dry. Usually takes, well, it depends on the humidity level and where I have them hung. It can take anywhere from a day to three days for them to dry thoroughly. These are nettles that have been redded. To begin, I'm going to break up a piece of this redded stalk here. And once it's redded, there are no stingers left on it, so it's not gonna bother your hands at all. So what I have now is I have the pith, which comes off really easily. That's the center part of the plant. And I have the bark, which is where the fibers are. Redding is a process that begins to break down the connection between the bark and the pith and the fibers themselves. And it makes the fibers a little bit softer. So here's a section that I've done. I'm gonna wiggle and begin to break apart the bits of the bark that are adhered to the fibers, and then I'm going to just scrape them. There are commercial processes for, it's called decortication, um, for separating these bast fibers. The next step, which is carding, these are cards. So I'm going to lay this on here and I'm going to scrape these together. And you can see how it starts to pull the fibers apart even more. And then I will get this. There's still, still some bits in there, but this is relatively clean and ready to be spun. The drafting of your fibers is very, very important. It will determine how even and thick your final yarn is. So I'm gonna spin my spindle and I'm gonna hold it in my knees and grasp where the twist is and then let that twist work its way up into the fiber. Here I have a little bit of a thin spot, so I'm gonna pull some of these down in there. If I'm careful, it won't break. 
So I'm going to get a good spin in here. A good enough spin that when I let it relax, it's going to buckle in on itself. And then I'm going to allow it to work its way up. You can crochet with it. Of course, you can weave with it. But to make enough fiber to actually put on a loom and weave is a long process. This is a washcloth that I knitted. Mm -hmm.